What's going on everyone? I am me, you are you, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero, where today we're going to be doing our best to advance the story. But first, at the end of last episode, I promised you all an interior. Now, off camera, I went ahead and gathered a whole load of uh, extra titanium for that very purpose. So, let's go do that. You know what I just noticed? Potato the cat has a uh, robotic prosthetic limb, which is uh, kind of cool. I like it. <laughs> Neat. It's the, uh, you know, it's the, uh, it's the small things. It's the little details. Okay. And the last thing we need, a water filtration machine. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now time for a tour of the place. This took a lot longer to build than I expected. But first things first, I just want to say, so much room for activities. Look at this place. You can run around and jump and it's open and I love it. We can do whatever we want here. Ah, this is great. I am very happy that I took the, uh, the time to build this. Took a while, took a lot of resources, but absolutely worth it. Oh, yes. Okay, so, the tour. Uh, well, first off, I want to point out how much power we have. We have got a lot of power. I also built some uh, extra solar panels as backup outside. I'll show you those later. First things first, yeah, we've got our water filtration machine. We have got plenty of storage all along this wall and a little bit on that wall here. We've got our fabricator, our battery charger, and power cell charger. We've got some uh, indoor farming going on with a direct view, kind of direct view of the sun. Uh, we've got some nice artwork going on. In the control room, we've got some schematics. Uh, in here, we have some general art. In the moon pool, we've got a sea truck. You know, got to keep it uh, appropriately matched. Uh, in the bedroom, we've got, uh, you know, some nice uh, picture frames, a bit more artwork, and, uh, well, standard bedroom, I guess. You know, you got your desk, your shelf for stuff, you got a, uh, well, your bed. Uh, let's see, what else is there? You know, we got our vending machine. I might swap this out with a, a jukebox at some point. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, I already showed you the moon pool. Oh, we do need to add in a vehicle upgrade console. We'll be doing that soon. But uh, continuing on with the tour, yeah, so we've got this room, it's all looking pretty sweet if you ask me. Here we have our observatory where we can look out into the world. There's our solar panels I was just on about for the, uh, the backup power. Just, you know, just because a nuclear reactor isn't enough. We have our outdoor grow beds which are coming along very nicely. These are already grown, I planted those like two minutes ago so that's pretty good. Wow, these are also already grown. Hey, what are these like? Oh, wow. There. Wow. Okay. We are planting more of those. We, we are definitely planting more of them. Those are very good. Let's have more of those, please. But yeah, so this is our outdoor grow bed. We've got a couple spotlights down for, uh, well, so we can see at night. Nuclear reactor, of course. Uh, not much to say about that, it's a nuclear reactor. It's coming along very well if you ask me. It's uh, providing us a lot of power. Nuclear waste disposal as well, of course. How are these actually, how's this actually doing? These are all still intact. Which is good stuff. We got a lot of power. <laughs> what else, what else? Uh, I don't think there's too much else to show. Other than, you know, you know I mean, it's a pretty sweet base if you ask me. <laughs> Took a long time, but absolutely worth it. This place is awesome. Oh, and of course, you know, you got some benches to, uh, you know, just take a seat, basically. Have a rest. And we need to find some plants for these at some point, but that's fine. And, uh, well, yeah, this is the new base. All set and done and ready to go. I love it. Okay. Right. How long did that take out of curiosity? Okay, not as long as I thought. Maybe about, like, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, that's not that bad. We do need to do one more thing. Uh, well, two things, but only one thing now. First off, we need to name this base. 
And in line with the other bases, I think we're going to call this... I don't know. Outpost Alpha. Because I like the phonetic alphabet. Outpost Alpha. Let's go with that. And then the other thing is we need to uh, change the colours of the outside of the base. But you know what? I, I actually kind of like the colour scheme at the moment. I think it's nice. By the way, before I forget, one of you in the comments of a previous episode mentioned I might not have scanned one of the beds in the Omega Lab. Thank you for pointing that out. I did double check and I uh, did scan it, but it was definitely worth checking. The thing we got from that was, in fact, uh, where is it? Daniel's bed. So, yes. Cool. Alright, so. The next immediate plan is to get a... Where is it? Hang on, I'll find it. Vehicle upgrade console in here, which I'm pretty sure we can actually do right now. I'll just go get the resources. Resources acquired. And now... Welcome aboard, Captain. Vehicle upgrade console. Sweet. Nice, nice, nice. And we will be using this a lot sooner than you think. By the way, I was actually very tempted to uh, put a... Where is it? Where is it? Hang on. There it is. I was very tempted to put in an aquarium here. But in the end, I decided against it because it got a little uh, cramped around the sides. We might put it in in a future date. I don't know yet. I was also tempted to put in a scanner room. But I've also decided against that for now because we... Uh, I don't know how often we'd use it. At least in this area. Maybe when we have to go deeper down. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so yeah. With that in place, the next thing we want to go do is go ahead and finally build an exosuit. Let's go do it. Just gotta go pick up some stuff from Arctic Outpost 1. Where, by the way, I did decide to actually leave a couple decorations in here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Just because, uh, well, you know, it's nice to have the base a bit more decorated in case I ever need to come back. Uh, you know, kind of like right now. We'll also be taking that. Now, enamel glass and computer chip. And now, at long last, the prawn suit. Ah, yeah. Okay, sweet. And that's going all the way down there. And first things first, upgrades. Jump jet upgrade. Yeah, boy. Welcome aboard, Captain. Why, thank you. Whoa, that's much more responsive than I remember. Nice. And a moon pool is right here. Sweet. Good stuff, good stuff. And then we can go ahead and... Uh, what have we got here? Let's go ahead and make a drill arm. And maybe a storage upgrade module. And maybe a depth module mark one. You know what? <laughs> Actually, that's a lot of stuff to make. Instead, what we're going to do is what I wanted to do uh, originally. You know, the original plan for this episode. Which was to go visit the land. So we're going to use the uh, the prawn suit uh, in probably next episode. I'd imagine we'll have to use this at some point. I know we did uh, in the original Subnautica. So this will definitely get some use. And if it has no use in the storyline, I can guarantee you we'll be using it for mining. Because uh, all this all this stuff you see around you, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's expensive. You know, it takes a lot of resources to build. So, yeah. Let's recharge and get some food for the road, and then head to land. Oh, hey, one thing I didn't point out last time. Eye jellies have giant eyes on top of them. Which is, uh, not creepy at all. <laughs> not at all. Since when did you guys make that sound? Slightly unnerving. Okay, what do we got here? 
Surface, surface. This way. I'll just uh, duck under you real quick. Seriously, since how, how long have you made that sound for? Is there a place where we can dock somewhere? Okay, you know what? What about let's 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 just let's just get out there. Let's go to land. Where are we at? Because we can get up here. What do we got? Okay, so that's where we were. Uh, <laughs> let's go explore land. I guess this is the land. Let's see what we got. Oh, a steam vent. Okay. I feel like those can probably keep us warm. Uh, but don't stand on it because of first degree, degree burns. Wait, what did that say about? Uh, Multi-purpose dive suits are sufficient for averting skin damage. I wonder if we... I bet that's what this is. Maybe. Titanium, perfect. That's one thing we actually need. Okay. So we can use the steam vents for hello, you're something. Steam vent? Where'd the steam vent go? There. We can use these to keep warm. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? We got a uh, battery. We got some water. Won't ever say no to either of those. Nutrient block. This is not scannable. Hey, a jukebox disc. What else we got around here? Anything? Okay, nothing obvious. Although, it looks like there's something that way. We also need to figure out where the base is. Because I know there's a base around here somewhere. If you're a light stick, that means there's something this way. Okay, so what do we got up here? We have a bridge with a terminal on it and a red blinking light. There is something of significance beyond this bridge. It was important to Otera, but more important to me. Will it help us build you a body? I believe so, yes. Okay, good to know, good to know. What do we got? Fluid levels. Ruptured hydraulic fluid. Okay. What do we need to do that? When did we scan a snow fox module? Also, I'm keeping an eye on it. You know what? We're steam vent. We need steam vent. Steam vent. Steam vent. Oh, that's a long way down. There we go. Okay. Hydraulic fluid. Creep vine, seed cluster, and four gel sacks. I mean, we can do that now. But you know what? Let's explore a bit more first. Let's see what else we got. Oh, hey, we have a dock here. I knew there must, and I knew there must have been a dock somewhere. <gasps> Ow. I knew there was one of these somewhere. There had to be. First aid kit. Useful. All Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Unique identifier. Fire Robotics Center. Okay, I think we're actually going to head there now instead. Does this area warm me up? It does. Perfect. Hey, you're glowing. But not scannable. What do we got? We got some neat looking... I thought you were an eyeball for a minute. Okay, we got some neat stuff in looking stuff around here. Oh, hey, peppers. Nice. Okay, fine. Cool. We are, yeah, those are useful. Okay. Pathfinder tool. I think... Yeah, we already have that. This is all very cool. This leads nowhere. Ow.
Okay, robotics lab. I knew there had to be something, uh, you know, before the bridge. In fact, there's an entire area here. Okay, there's a lot to explore. Let's skip to the interesting bits. I, I'm guessing this was like a launch pad or something. Best guess. We got the beacon. And here is the fire robotics center. With a scannable frosted sinew tree. Something like that. Hey, what was that? Oh, it was probably icicles. Okay. Water. Okay, let's get inside. What do we got? Five robotics. This is where Sam worked. N nothing more than that? Okay, cool, fine. Let's uh keep on looking. What do we got? Half a pad fragment. Perfect. Oh, and we've already unlocked it. New blueprint synthesized. We... I think we can do that. We'll find out. Ah, you know what I don't have? A fabricator module on the sea truck. Awkward. Ah, well. What else we got? Let's see. Aha! Here we go. Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. Okay. Well, we have another spy pengling uh, poster. Cool. Laser cutter fragment, we don't need that. We can't go through there. Hey, PDA. Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, pengling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? An SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penglings. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait. Are you telling me you're not the brains in the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many different brains. Like a... A Hydra? Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I, I like that analogy. Makes it hard to get along sometimes, but it's never dull. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What else we got? We got a battery. We have a Dr. Zeta Landon. Looking pretty cool. Robotics, okay. Spy Pengling Fragment. Do we get the blueprint? New technology acquired. Which is where? Good stuff. We, I think we might, ah, oh, I don't know yet. Again, ah, we need a fabricator. Okay, we'll play around with this stuff in a minute because we need to go back anyway. Glacial basin map, useful. We cannot, however, pick it up. Previously explored research locations accessible via spy pinging. Okay, um, so where are we? Wait, what is, what is this in the middle? That looks important. Okay, no, we'll we'll have a play around. Well, uh, yeah, we'll have a play around. We have Sam. This must have been but... Sam's room, but something's not right. What's not right? Well, we have Sam's bed, nonetheless. That'll be there. Okay, we'll pick that up last. Cool artwork. Okay, okay. PDA. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, 
oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. Okay, so this is where she started to realize what they were up to down here then. And then she met uh, Marguerite. What's in here? Have we scanned you? Yes. Big ol' aquarium. First aid kit. Large filtered water. Oh, hey, there's actually fish in there. I just realized that's cool. Cold soup. Okay, that sounds very useful. New blueprint synthesized. Okay, yeah, we... Oh, we need Snowstalker fur. Okay, I don't know how we get that. Uh, I can imagine how, but uh, I'm not going to like it. We have a... Uh, we have Zeta's bed, which is... Oh, hey, is that a reference to... Um, yeah, Drop Pod 5. That's pretty cool. Some sweet artwork. Jukebox disc. Well, some pretty good stuff here. This is, uh, this is, uh, this is a cool room. And then we got this. Oh, it's a text one. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Just doing a bit of speed reading. Some good old lore. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. I know I'm saying okay a lot, but I'm just thinking. Uh, right. That's a different word instead of okay. Wait, what? What the? Combined with a frozen water sauce, water purification tablets can create drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. Good to know. That's new. I never knew that was a thing. Snow fox fragment. We only need one more. We have a lot of stuff to craft. So what I think we're going to do is have a little bit more of a look around, see if I can find anything interesting. And then we're going to go fabricate a bunch of stuff. Maybe make a fabricator module for the sea truck. Let's go. Right after we look up here. Oh, hello. Giant. A, uh, a big old giant... Uh, architect gate. Cool. Well, look at that last. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's an entire... There's a whole other section to explore yet. Okay. Hey, we're doing okay on storage space, right? Yeah, we're all right. Administration. Okay, we don't need that. Wow, there really is. There's a lot more to explore yet. Okay, what was scannable? Something was scannable. Ha! <laughs> nice poster. Uh, Firmus, good stuff. I can hear uh, water. Okay, what's this? Oh, <laughs> you brought a friend. Spy pangling in training. We're recording audio, is that okay? Of course. I have the photos you sent. Um, what am I looking at here? 
Kara pustules on the frozen Leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice samples suggest it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Very. Uh, if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penglings. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. Well, I'll take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. Okay, so it looks like she was definitely trying to do something about all this, which is, uh, well, which is good. We also got a uh, picture frame, which is cool, and we can't pick up the large flask, but I'd imagine it's just decoration only. Hey, alien intruder. I'll take that. A fridge. I didn't even know you could get a fridge. What does a fridge do? I mean, in the game. Fridge, 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 fridge. Oh, hey, we can actually make these. Okay, cool, good to know. Fridge. Keeps food cold and prevents it from spoiling. Okay, cool, that's good to know. We'll get that PDA in a second, literally. Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. <sighs> so, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern with the frozen Leviathan. I investigated and... You I... investigated? <laughs> when? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've looked into it and I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Corral mutation experiments. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> can we play the game now? Fine. Okay, okay, so she was trying to get other people on board. It's fair enough. That is not accessible. I thought it was. Fine, okay. Some interesting stuff going on. I'm really liking the lore in this game. It's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Okay, I think that's everything in here. Let's go to the big old Arctic Gateway. Aha, we can scan it. Architect teleporter. Nice. Okay, so, yeah, okay, fine. So it's a teleporter. So this is the secondary gate. Uh, not a clue where the first gate is. Uh, maybe we'll come across it later. I'd imagine we will. Okay, what else we got? Uh, let's go ahead and head back to fabricate some stuff to get across the bridge. Yeah, I think we've got everything in here. Let's roll. Right after we look at some more stuff up here. Tell you what. I wonder if for uh, the cold suit, I wonder if we, to get the snowstalker fur, I wonder if we need a spy penguin, maybe. I'm thinking we need a spy penguin. The heck is down here? What is down here? Wherever it is, we're down deep. This isn't the way to the present life, is it? Is it? It might be. 
If it is, that's kind of cool, because I've not seen that, uh, you know, in its entirety yet, fully release. Oh, come on, let this be the Frozen Leviathan. It's gotta be. No, it's a tunnel. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Whoa. Okay, this is another section we'll need. Hey, Snow Fox Fragment. Perfect. Sweet, that's useful. As I was saying, yeah, this is going to be an area we explore at a later point. Right now, we need to get back into a cave, which was right over Dangerous here. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. I'm working on it. We'll head back through here. Oh, hello. I'll, uh... Ah, oh, I want to jump down that. You know what? You're good. You can stay over there. I'll stay over here. It's fine. Don't worry about it. This is a loop. Okay. Uh, you're, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I want to go down here. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, jeez. Don't even worry about it, man. It's cool. I'll leave. I'll leave. Okay. It's dangerous. Ah, this is that dangerous weather. What's going on down here? Whoa, this is cool. Ooh, I like this. This is a secret entrance. This is neat. Oh, that's just a loop. Okay, that's fine. More secret areas. Just a little bit conscious of my oxygen. Okay, good thing I have a laser. Did that, that didn't help me a whole lot. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. That's more like it. Any more? Okay, yeah. That's good. This works. This is fine. This, this can work. Perfect. Okay, now we can continue. What have we got here? Okay. Frozen the Viper? Not yet. But this area does look pretty cool, though. We got the setting sun. This is just a loop. That has got to be a spy pingling location. No doubt about it. Okay, that's definitely a spy pingling location. I wonder if... Wait, we saw one of those on a um, Delta Station Island. I wonder if there was another spy pingling location there. Maybe. Just maybe. Okay, let's go into the here. Huh. Okay, cool, cool. Let's go through here first. Anyone home? Ooh. Did the person who worked here also live in storage? <laughs> okay. 
Okay. This is kind of cool. I also think it's the present of life inside. That's a pretty sweet looking bed. Got some artwork. Whoa, that's some cool artwork. I like that. I kind of want... And this artwork. I kind of want both of these in real life. Hey, try hard ninja. Deep dive. Nice. Featuring Zach Boucher. I probably horribly mispronounced that, but oh well. My dearest Adeline at Rosita. Ugh, not dearest. Who says that anymore? Adeline, Rosita. Everything on the mission is going very well. Do you see now? Your doubts were unfounded. I am loved here, and... Ugh, no. Rosita will say, Papa, why do you have to brag all the time? Papa, it's embarrassing. I want to apologize. Okay, no, that's taking things too far. I know we didn't leave things on the best note, but I want you to know I love you and I miss you. I don't know why I say the things I say sometimes. They just come out. I was going to send you a message saying how great everything is here and how everyone loves me. I've had a promotion to a very important security dossier. I'm treated like a hero. But really, this is a cold, wet planet. The scientists are full of themselves. There's no action to speak of. The only thing I look forward to is weekly games of Alien Intruder, but more than that, of coming home to you. I am sorry for all the times I did not appreciate you, of our family, or the good life we had. And I... Who am I kidding? I can't send this. What's the use? Oh man, okay. A bit of a bit of background on Parvin there. Okay. Let's grab these pretty cool posters. Ah, uh, Parvin. So he was trying to send a message to his family, but he was wondering what to say. Okay. If you're not cheating, then you won't mind if I record this conversation. Is that right? I have nothing to hide. Then what were you whispering about with Vin? Nothing. Th that guy is so lawful good, it's annoying. Wait, so you were trying to cheat? But no cheating occurred, so what does it matter? It matters to team morale. If you can cheat in the game, how can they trust you out there? I'm sorry, did you feel left out? Perhaps you would like to make a deal. Ugh, Parvin, no. You're shameless. You really never give up, do you? I don't. That's true. <laughs> Have a manual put that in my next eval. Very persistent. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I really like that they're going along with the whole uh, alien intruder thing because there's, you know, it's, it's it's a good bit of continuity between uh, the characters. It's good. I like it. Uh, also, I really wish we could get, you know, this in a, in our base. That would be cool. Security cameras and all that. I feel like we are very close to the frozen Leviathan. We've got to be. We're pretty far in now. I know the original plan was just to go fabricate some stuff, but well, now we're here. Ooh. What happened here? I sense many things here. Death among them. Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh. The frozen Leviathan, everyone. <laughs> okay. The music really kicked in as well. We have a scan. Ooh, necklace. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. Okay. We have to make some room for all our stuff, by the way, which isn't a bad thing. My investigation of the fire excavation site, including the cave entrance and surrounding area, revealed minor cosmetic damage to Altera survey equipment and significant structural damage to the natural cave entrance and supports. Resulting debris prevents cave access without heavy excavation equipment. Only foot access is currently possible. We are reporting two casualties, Pavan Ivanov and Samantha Ayu. Both bodies were found beneath the rubble at the cave entrance Ivanov had just entered the cave. Footprints were still visible by the entrance. Deeper into the cave, Ayu appeared to have sustained a fall. Poor souls. 
what was Ayu doing? Nothing in her file suggests a history of vandalism or carelessness. And yet, I can only conclude that the cause of the collapse was employee negligence. We will need to investigate a possible connection to the explosive damage reported at Omega Lab. If there is a connection, who is responsible? Oh man, okay. It appears that your sister's death was accompanied by a significant destruction. Doesn't make any sense. She would never destroy a base. Well, baselessly. Are your feelings confused? I'm detecting more than one. I, I don't know. I, I feel disillusioned? Worried? I thought I knew Sam better than I really did. When we were kids, I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. Your mind goes easily to food. To distract you from your feelings. Okay, I think that's enough mind reading for now. This wasn't negligence. That's not Sam. This was something else. The plot thickens. Okay. Also, it was Pavan, not Parvin. Okay. So, well, I think it was that anyway. That's uh, whatever I said in the PDA. I'm getting distracted. As I was saying, the plot thickens. So this is so uh, some pretty big stuff went down here. Okay. Good to know. Let's uh. Let's investigate. PDA. Patrol log, excavation site, day 33, morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen, but it was just that I sneezed. Wiped it off. Fred's not convinced the Leviathan is really dead, but I've never even seen it blink. Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Creature still dead, cave still boring. I miss the mining site. At least you could talk to people. Oh, wait now, what's this? A rock! I found an interesting rock. That makes three this week. The others will be happy to have a friend. Concluding patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. End log. Okay, alright. Just a bit of a, a bit of a report on a patrol. Cool, cool, cool. We gotta cut down on the water the on the water purification tablets because uh Oh you combine them with a snowball. Oh, that's what you do. Okay, cool, fine. I didn't actually know that. I should probably read more. Okay, what do we got here? I'll take an advanced wiring kit, that's actually quite useful. I think we already have the spy pinglings. Uh, some glass, okay. Elevator, copper wire. What have we got going on down here? Hey, exosuit. Oh my gosh, that's a big hand. <laughs> oh, jeez. Arch Clark Acid. Uh, you know what? I want to take that because that's difficult to make, I think. So, water. I knew you could scan this. Pause of to retain, retain traction on the ice. Okay. This, I think this land episode is going to need to be a two-parter. Because uh, there's a there's there's a lot more than I thought there was. Yeah, what we're gonna do? We're gonna wrap up exploring this area here uh, around the frozen Leviathan. Then I think we might need to finish up. So let's see what we got. Loads of stuff here. Cool. I wonder if I... You know what? I'm I'm, I'm half tempted to... Uh, can I move... It'd be cool if I could, like, move this stuff around. Because then in my base, I could, like, put stuff on the shelves. That'd be neat. Any of you scannables? Stand by. Stand... Hello. 
injectable container. Ah, but there was a large flask somewhere. I bet we could have used that. So this is obviously uh, something. Lots of room for a brain, but mostly burned fat. Infected pustules. Karar. Okay, somewhat low. This re this variant of Karar bacterium's rate of transmission is lower than the widespread outbreak. Okay, so that's a good thing. Capacity, survive, off to the back, survive. Okay, okay. I can't read that word. Sarophytic, something like that. Scans indicate uh, they're visible. Okay, feeding. Okay, okay. Okay, so it's saying we need to investigate further. Ooh, my shadow. That's cool. Yeah, that, that's a. Uh, I forgot. I was going to mention this. So back in uh, the bases, I could tell there was like reflections on the ceiling from the lockers, and you know you got like uh, all these sorts of wavy reflections going on. Well, it's not a reflection, but it's a uh, really good lighting, is what I'm trying to say. There's really good lighting in this game. I'm guessing we need to get a sample at some point somehow. That just kind of ends. This is a big leviathan. And I'm wondering if it actually is alive or not. Now that Fred said it was alive. Let's hope this thing isn't alive. Although I secretly wish it is. Okay, I think we've got everything as far as I can tell around here. If I haven't, we'll definitely pick it up next episode. But yeah, okay, so I'm going to have to split the, uh, you know, exploring the land into two or three episodes, actually. There is a lot more than I thought there was. But we have done a very decent amount of story progression today. And it's uh, it's gone very well. We've got a whole load of new posters, which I didn't expect. Some useful resources, some uh, new scannables, some new plants, all that good stuff. Well, a lot of good stuff. It's been a productive episode. So, uh, yes, I think on that note... We can end it there for today. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.